Megan was always a, a very positive person. She was always smiling. She absolutely loved drama and musical theatre. We never imagined that something basic to our survival, such as food, can, can take such a precious life. Their daughter's death was entirely avoidable, and the Royal Spice takeaway near their Lancashire home was in truth a risk to anyone who ordered from there. To have no systems in place, to manage allergens, to not keep labels of ingredients, to not keep an audit or have a matrix in place. They were playing Russian roulette with people's lives. Indeed, the men convicted of Meghan's manslaughter actually swapped ownership of the takeaway in 2015. That should have triggered an automatic visit from hygiene inspectors, but the pair didn't notify anyone, and so the authorities were none the wiser that standards had dropped. Meghan's parents believe regulations need to be strengthened. These takeaways could change ownership, um, so they could be using a hygiene racing for another company, and the authorities are none the wiser. I think they need to tighten their regulations up around that. The death of another allergic teenager, Natasha Ednan Laparouz, after she ate a sandwich containing sesame seeds, has already forced the government into action. A campaign from her parents, meaning stricter food labelling laws, are on their way from next summer. But the Food Standards Agency told us tonight that with regards to what happened to Megan, the rules are very clear. If a restaurant changes hands, it is up to the owner alone to tell the local council. Richard Palo, ITV News.